Hello everyone and welcome to the first in a series of videos which will show you how to build your own Informatica connector using the Informatica Cloud Connector SDK. Building a connector allows your users to easily integrate your application with every other application or data source supported by Informatica. This Java-based SDK allows you to easily build a connector which supports single and multiple object read, write, and lookup, as well as source filters. In this video, we'll show you how to configure Eclipse and import and build the CSV file sample connector. You'll have to fulfill a few prerequisites before you get started. You can visit the Informatica Cloud Developer Portal where you can download the associated samples and documentation. The Connector Toolkit tutorial will guide you through setting up the prerequisites. Let's hop into Eclipse and get started. First, we'll need to change some of the default preferences in order to be able to build the connector sample. Go into Window, Preferences, select the Java option and expand it, and then choose Compiler. We need to change the compiler to version 1.7. Click Apply. Next, we'll need to make sure that we have the proper installed JRE for us to work with. By default, Eclipse will install whatever latest version it finds on your computer. The prerequisites ask us to install the latest version of Java 1.7. We pick a standard VM, and then we point it to the folder where Java 1.7 is installed. At this point, Eclipse picks up all the installation, and you can click Finish. Next, we must unselect the 1.8 version and select the 1.7. Click OK. Once you close the welcome screen, you'll be put into the Java EE perspective. On the left-hand side is the Project Explorer, which you can use to import existing Eclipse projects. Right-click in that area, select Import, and then Import again. Select General, and then an existing projects into Workspace. Click Next, and then we'll go select the root folder. I like to copy the project into the existing workspace so I can always go back to the original version if I need to. So I select this option and I click Finish. At this point, Eclipse has imported the project and already built it. You should have no errors if you follow the prerequisites properly. There are some warnings, but you can ignore these. Our last step is to build a connector package. Select the build.xml file, right click on it, and do run as and then the second ant build option, which allows you to choose the configuration of ant you want to run. The create package option should have been selected by default. If it isn't, make sure it's the only one selected. Click the run button, and Eclipse will build the package. At the bottom here, you can see that it says finish creating zip file. This is an indication that you've successfully built your package. It's available in the DISD folder of where you install the CSV file adapter in your workspace. Now we are ready to start building our connector, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.